with the Monster Association arc coming to a close, we finally get to see what Saitama and everyone else is up to in the aftermath of the Garo and Saitama fight. We see Garo and Bang bonding, Saitama and Genos looking for their home, and we see the heroes move into their new apartment. Not only that, but Overgrown Rover and Black Sperm are still alive. And if we fast forward to chapter 175, Psychos is actually still alive and she's being visited by this joker looking dude but before i get into the video there will be spoilers for the one punch man manga chapters 175 and up so if you're not caught up with the manga or the series uh proceed with caution and let's get right back into the video so in chapter 175 of the manga titled visitor we see black sperm and overgrown rover being left outside and they knock on saitama's door asking him to let them in but they get interrupted by class a hero forte or for or however you say his name but uh that's not the point right now so basically fort interrupts their conversation and he wants to fight saitama because in the previous chapter which is chapter 174 in which where saitama actually meets his neighbors obviously forte butterfly dx and chain toad and as his neighbors were introducing themselves to saitama uh saitama just kind of acts like he just doesn't really care you know you know how Saitama is man but once it gets to Forte's or Fort's turn he gets really pissed off because Saitama tells him that working up a rhythm every time you fight is really pointless and this really angers Fort because his whole shtick or gimmick is is that he fights with rhythm that he listens to from his music in his headphones okay so this dude's literally blasting music bro and just fighting but that's why Forte wants to fight Saitama and so Saitama decides to put a uh, black sperm and and overgrown rover on the line here loser has to take care of both of them because right now they're pretending to be some animals or saitama's quote-unquote pets even though they're monsters but they don't know that all right so forte or fort begins to play his music and starts to get into rhythm and pretty much starts charging saitama but as he's charging him, Saitama's yelling at Forte to get out the way. But Forte can't hear him because he's playing his music and he ends up getting run over by none other than Mommy herself, Fabuki and her gang, the Blizzard group. Fabuki then gets out of her car and it completely ignores bro that they just ran over, but she ends up asking Saitama what he's doing here. And he ends up telling her that his apartment was completely destroyed because of the stuff that went down with Garo and the Monster Association. But after that, it cuts to a new scene that takes place in an underground parking lot in which where we see a really cool old school style black car pull up and park and the person to get out of this car seems to be wearing some business casual black clothing a hat and a mask he kind of reminds me of like that old school mobster style that like gangsters like in the 1950s used to wear like if that makes any sense you, you get what i'm saying but anyways this mysterious person seems to be emanating or seems to have some kind of power surging through him we see some kind of aura just coming out of him and of course fabuki senses this i also want to point out that his mask has like a weird almost stitched like pattern i don't know how to describe it it looks like a star as you can see here i'll probably have a picture up but like i was saying fubuki almost looks visibly worried like she senses something is wrong here she senses that power that's emanating from this mysterious guy and she asked saitama to follow her but don't forget because saitama i guess won the bet you could say i mean he he got ran over you know uh he gave his quote-unquote pets to his neighbors so they can take care of them so saitama follows fubuki and they actually end up at the hero association headquarters special internment facility so basically a jail or prison but uh we see fubuki walk up to the receptionist and she asks to visit someone she doesn't specifically say who she ends up giving like an ID or a number and the receptionist cuts her off here and says that that inmate is currently being visited by someone else and immediately after that they are being transferred to another facility. Fubuki then demands to stop the current visitation because it's an emergency but then the next page after that it is revealed that they are actually visiting psychos and 
Of course, uh, the other visitors, the guy with the mask, are already there and the security guard there is telling them that it's perfectly safe and that they put her to sleep with medication. So this mysterious guy in the mask is visiting Psychos, which is interesting. Now the mysterious visitor actually refers Psychos as a specimen and he is very intrigued by the fact that she was able to stand her ground against the S-Class hero Tatsumaki. The mysterious visitor ends up giving his appearance appreciation or thanks to the three men that were with him at the beginning and we find out that these three men are most likely associated with the hero association because they are the ones that actually sold psychos to him and uh they say that uh they stripped her of all of her human rights and is classified as a monster so the mysterious visitor is now able to do whatever kind of experiments he wants to on her which is really fucked up and shows the corruption of the hero association i mean she was was the Monster Association's leader slash... Alright, you know what? I can't say if it's fucked up or not, okay? But on the next page is the big reveal where we find out that this person is actually in or is a part of the Tsukuyomi. And it seems that the mysterious visitor woke up Psychos simply by saying the word Tsukuyomi. And it immediately follows up with Psychos attacking the mysterious visitor and the three men who sold her to him. But the mysterious visitor seems to have some Esper-like power powers of his own and quickly knocks her unconscious just by pointing two fingers at her. He then walks up to her saying, now now, this would all be for naught if we ended up damaging your precious brain. Because here within the third eye we've heard so much about lies the secrets is seen into the future. Now basically what he's saying is that he doesn't want to damage her brain because it seems like he or the Tsukuyomi needs her brain, her knowledge and information and want to gain the secrets that would would help them see into the future. One of the men tells the mysterious visitor that if he would like to take her to one of the facilities to torture her but he ends up declining his offer and instead will perform a craniotomy on her back at the lab. Skipping to chapter 176 titled Hyper Center, we get a backstory for Psychos and obviously Fubuki is there but the main point of the story is really on Psychos and her descent to madness. You know this is when she really goes bonkers and shit and that's because she decides to read this mysterious book that we don't really know much about at all other than that it holds information or knowledge that would help psychos learn the ability called the third eye and if she ends up learning this ability she'll be able to predict the future just like shibabawa and i guess she ended up learning this ability or at least maybe some of it because in the next panel shot we see her in bed in a fetal position in a lot of pain and in the next shot we get a glimpse of her vision or i guess you could say the future and it looks pretty bad man it it's really just a bunch of scribbles but obviously it's it's not pretty we only know one thing about what she really saw in that future and that is that god it was actually in there because we see later fubuki going into her mind to see what she saw and it's a crazy shot of god in his meatball form so we don't know why he was there in that vision what he was doing there we know absolutely nothing but it's crazy immediately after that we see fubuki along with her blizzard group and of course Saitama pull up on the mysterious visitor. Fubuki goes in and tells everyone that the visitation is over and demands everyone to evacuate immediately. Fubuki then says that because Psychos was added to the official incarceration list by the headquarters this morning that Tatsumaki will notice that and she'll come in and finish her off. And next thing you know Tatsumaki rips right through the ceiling and immediately starts to finish off Psychos by launching some rocks at her. Both Fubuki and the mysterious visitor who is associated with the Tsukuyomi start to put a barrier around Psychos but Tatsumaki pretty much launches the Tsukuyomi guy straight into the wall. And then the next page over is when we learn that the Tsukuyomi is actually a psychic research organization that have done experiments on espers and psychics like Tatsumaki herself when she was younger. But Tatsumaki says that she plans on protecting psychos for certain reasons that 
that we don't really know. And then suddenly, the Tsukuyomi mysterious visitor guy gets up and we find out that he is actually an artificial esper because Tatsumaki says that there has been little progress in the development of artificial psychics. I guess Tatsumaki was hoping for him to fucking pretty much die as soon as he hit the wall, but he's showing that he's a little bit stronger than that. Moving forward to chapter 177, we see the Tsukuyomi guy and Tatsumaki battle it out. The Tsukuyomi guy ends up playing dirty by activating a sleep capsule inside of Fubuki, but not only that, there's also a poison capsule inside of her as well. And the Tsukuyomi guy is threatening Tatsumaki, saying that he will telekinetically break that poison capsule inside of Fubuki and of course kill her. And the way she took these capsules is because there was a rat or a double agent inside of her blizzard group and of course the rat slipped in those capsules into her beauty supplements. He then ends up breaking Tatsumaki's back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean he ends up folding her and along with that he ends up carrying away Fubuki and Psychos and he starts to leave along with the double agent who we find out is actually a newer member of the group. But then suddenly Tatsumaki breaks the control of the Tsukuyomi guy and begins to twist the poison capsule thinner than a strand of hair and launches it out of Fubuki straight into the Tsukuyomi guy's eyes. And then Tatsumaki straight up uses a Naruto move to finish off the Tsukuyomi guy or at least trap him in that uh, meatball or ball of rocks that he's in. But that's not the end of him because in chapter 179 we actually get his name and his name is Apollo. He ends up escaping because Tatsumaki and uh, Saitama were fighting so everyone was distracted and he pretty much just dipped out of there. And the last shot we get of him is him saying that he'll get Tatsumaki back. This probably probably isn't the last time we see Apollo here or the Tsukuyomi. So the Tsukuyomi is a very very interesting new addition to One Punch Man. These guys are a brand new concept and really good to the story I'd say so myself because of the amount of theories and possibilities with these guys. And one possible theory is that the Tsukuyomi know about God which is really interesting because the existence and knowledge of God has been kept under secrecy by the Hero Association and of course Blast. And the reason we say this is because back in chapter 137 we get a flashback of a younger Tatsumaki who is being held at what we know as some research settlement and in the same page where it shows where she's being held at a monster actually breaks loose in this research settlement and as this monster is rampaging through the research facility or settlement we see that the doctors there pretty much abandon Tatsumaki and they say that she has no potential and to prioritize the promising subjects for and so she ends up getting left behind and the monster actually approaches her cell and completely knocks her out but she wakes up to a voice and this voice says you can come out that voice she heard was actually blast and we get a cool shot of blast standing right in front of Tatsumaki with the monster that he just completely wiped out but in the page right after that we actually see blast holding the cube and so now that we know that Tsukuyomi is a group that exists in the one punch man universe that has a research settlement and after seeing blast holding a cube from one of the research settlements we can theorize that the Tsukuyomi know about the existence of god but obviously we don't know their motives so all we can really do is theorize and ask we do know that they make artificial espers or psychics because of what tatsumaki said during her fight with apollo so maybe the Tsukuyomi are going to use the influence of god to make stronger espers or psychics and another possible theory is that the Tsukuyomi are actually making their own type of association but instead of like heroes and stuff it's just espers now as to why the Tsukuyomi would do this now it is possible that maybe someone in the Tsukuyomi worked for the hero association or maybe just had some close ties with the executives of the hero association maybe even Begoni but I don't really see this being too far fetched because we do know that the hero association is very very shady and very corrupt so for them to backstab or you know really mess up someone that is now a part of the Tsukuyomi and now wants to tear down the hero association you know I, I kind of see that happening I really like that theory but like I said before ladies and gentlemen we don't know what the Tsukuyomi's motives really are we can only speculate and theorize and hopefully we do get more of these 
guys in the future because we know so little about these guys. But hey, hopefully Murata and One really start cooking some shit with these guys because there's a lot of story potential with these guys. But that's all I really have for this video today. I appreciate you guys for watching and please let me know what you guys think about the Tsukuyomi and let me know your theories down below in the comments too because their motives are so mysterious and of course left unclear. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video by dropping a like and subscribe if you want some more One Punch Man content and that's about it. See ya.